Hey everyone, Ian from Big Rock Moto. So this is a little bit more informal than most of the videos I've been doing lately, but this is an important topic that a lot of people are discussing online. So if you own a BMW GS uh, from the past few years, and I'm pretty sure this would apply to all the water-cooled GSs, but I'm not exactly sure, so you're gonna have to be careful on that. Um, a lot of you are not happy with BMW's Navigator, either because it's very expensive, it's exorbitantly expensive, and it's a very out-of-date unit. Even the Nav6 is based on a very old Garmin unit. A lot of people, including myself, are wanting to use the Garmin Zumo XT, which is an excellent modern motorcycle navigator that has a lot of off-road uh, routing features that the BMW units don't have. The only disadvantage is you won't be able to use the Wonder Wheel on the handlebar to control the XT. Uh, but what I want to show today is a very simple video on how to install and wire in the Garmin Zumo XT to your GS. So let's just dive in and get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to remove the factory nav cradle from the crossbar. So I've already done that on my bike. Actually, I did that a few weeks ago. In order to do that, you simply unscrew the cradle with the screws, you clip, you uh, cut all the zip ties that go down through here, and you're going to unplug it from down in here. And there's a plug which you can see right here. I know it's a little hard to see and I apologize. But there's a plug here and the wiring will unplug from this, okay? Once you've got all of that stuff released, uh, then you can fish out the, the wires and, you know, put the, put the mount and everything, the hardware, in a Ziploc bag, label it, and keep it for future use or a future owner in case they want to return the bike to the factory condition. So that's step one. The next step is going to be uh, gathering the parts that you need to do this. So here's the parts that uh, you will need. There may be a couple other ways to do this, but... This is the easiest and cleanest and sort of most factory way to do it, so to speak. Uh, what you will need is your Garmin Zumo XT will come with this um, wiring here. This is the power wire and this mount, which uses the amps pattern. So you hook up the power cable here according to Garmin's instructions. So you've got that ready to go and set aside. And I think that's the only Garmin part that you will need. You will not need... You will not need, for, for this application, any of these RAM mounts and other things that they give you in the kit. So you can hold that for future use or use on another bike. The second thing you will need is you will need a way to mount the Zumo XT, which is right here, to the BMW crossbar. And the way that I'm going to achieve that is I bought the mount from Moto Pumps. Okay, This is a great company. They, they're famous for making... Um, small inflators, but they also make some other things. They make these GPS mounts for different size crossbars. So the size that you need uh, for the BMW is 12 millimeters. So let me go show you how this works. So as an example, here's my Tenere 700 and it's using the same exact mount. And you can see here how it mounts to the crossbar. It actually happens to be the same size, so these are the same part. So how this will work is that you will clamp this onto the crossbar here, very simply, with the screws. And then you will clamp the Garmin uh, mount to this piece with the screws and then run your wiring down and connect it. So let me show you what else you need. So the third thing you will need is you will, you will want to buy this BMW repair plug, it's what they call it. And the reason for this is that this pigtail plugs directly into the original um, wiring plug for the factory GPS, okay? So this will not, this will mean that you do not have to cut or splice any wires on your GS, which is a good thing because, let's be honest, you probably don't want to cut into the wiring on your expensive BMW motorcycle. So the part number is here, 8330413585. I bought mine from Max BMW because they give you M&Ms with every order and that's why I like Max BMW. Good job, Max, on doing that. So you'll need this part and this um, is the factory pigtail which terminates into wires and basically these wires will then you can connect them however you would prefer to the positive and negative of the Garmin wiring. 
All right, so I've got the motor pumps mount started on the factory crossbar. What you do is you basically flip it around and so you can access the screws here so you're not blocked by the windshield and it's gonna spin freely. I'm using the center mount for now and if I need to adjust it later, I will. So you just start this on. I'm gonna snug these down. The instructions say just to have them snug so you can still rotate this a little bit by hand to adjust the angle, but you want it snug so it's not moving around as you ride, but not too snug that you're gonna break something. Um, it's a very nicely made little mount. So let's go ahead and get that fastened. All right, so I've got the motor pumps mount installed to the cross bracket. That's the first step. And then the second step I did here was you screw in the Garmin mount for the GPS with the power cable already installed onto the motor pumps mount using the screws supplied with the motor pumps mount, not the Garmin screws, okay? That's important. Now, what I've also done is I'm loosely routing the wiring in the way that I want it. So I'm gonna try to keep it up onto this crossbar here to keep it out of the way of the TFT and then routing it kind of down behind the windshield adjuster, down into the side fairing here. And then what I need to do next is wire in my uh, factory pigtail and wire in the Garmin wiring. And then I can sort of zip tie everything and, and tuck the wiring up in here out of the way. So we'll do, go ahead and do that next. All right, this next part on the wiring is very important to pay attention to. So on the Garmin wiring cable, uh, this little box is included and you might think, oh, I don't need that. I'll cut the wiring up in here or something and then splice it in. No, that would be a big mistake because what this is, is it takes, uh, you can see right here, input 10 to 30 volts, output 4.8 to five and a half volts. So what this does is it takes the power from the bike, which is gonna be supplied by this pigtail here, and the bike puts out, you know, it's a 12 volt system, so it puts out 12 volts or 14 volts, and it steps it down to five volts, which is what the GPS is gonna need, okay? So if you didn't have this, you'd blow up the GPS with too much voltage. So this has to be included in your wiring. Um, the wires that come out of it, however, you can cut these to whatever length you want. Obviously, the red is going to be the positive and the black is going to be the negative. Okay, that's usually how things work. Um, now, however, importantly, on this BMW plug, uh, what you have is three wires. They're labeled. They're actually labeled here, one, two, and three, all right, which is very handy <laughs> to have that. And I was able to find out that number one is the ground wire, and number three is gonna be your positive wire going to the red. So basically number one from here is going to go to the black wire on the Garmin uh, wire harness, and number three is gonna to go to the red wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this all up and get it um, connected with some crimp connectors, and then we'll tuck the wiring in. All right, so I did my wiring connections here. Uh, you can see I've used crimp connectors, which you can connect them however makes you happy. I really don't care how you do it. That's up to you. Um, I've plugged the pigtail into the factory wiring harness and I've left all these wires loose for now. And here's why. It's important at this step to make sure that the GPS is getting power correctly, make sure you didn't do anything wrong in the wiring before you go ahead and secure all this down underneath the fairing. So what I've done is I've mounted the GPS. These GPSs are really slick. They just click right onto the mount, um, which connects it to the power. Now the way that the BMW GPS wiring works is that it sends power to the GPS when the bike is on, and when you turn the bike off, it gives you around 30 seconds or 45 seconds before it kills the power to the GPS. So right now everything's off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the ignition on and make sure that the GPS gets power and turns itself on. Okay, we're in luck. The GPS got power and it turned itself on, okay? So now we know our wiring is correct and we can go ahead and secure all this, which I'll show in a minute. So let's turn the bike off and I'm not gonna make you wait this whole time, but it goes about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and then it shuts the power off and the GPS will say, external power lost, um, do you want to uh, leave the GPS or turn it off? It'll turn off on its own unless you press a button to leave it on. So uh, we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you kind of how I secured the wiring. Okay, our install is finished. So let me show you a few pointers. 
what I did was I was able to bundle up all the extra wires down in here. Okay, it's a little hard to show on the camera, but there's kind of a place down in here where you can, um, like underneath a plastic little panel, you can put the wires in and you can zip tie them all up. You just wanna make sure that nothing is loose, that you don't have any loose wires moving around or that can catch. So you wanna make it a factory looking install. So you route the wires properly, get them secured really well, and things like that. So I have a couple zip ties here. Let me move around to the back to show you. Um, so here you can see uh, the wiring comes up behind the crossbar here. This is a little cover for the um, wiring uh, connector if you take the GPS off on the mount, so that plugs over the mount there. But it should look like a factory install when all is said and done. So here's the finished product. So it's the same location as the factory GPS. So when you're riding the bike, it's in the perfect position. You can kind of see here, just like the factory nav unit would be, and it appears to be entirely factory. But you have done a great thing by getting away from BMW's horrible, old-fashioned, overpriced, failure-prone nav 5 and nav 6. Especially the nav 6s have a lot of problems, and you have a fully modern motorcycle GPS with the Zumo XT. I have used a lot of different motorcycle GPSs and the Zumo XT, for reasons I'll get into in a later video, is by far and away the best motorcycle navigator I've ever used. And it is worth the investment to buy it over using a smartphone or a tablet. I've tried using tablets, I've tried using phones, but the fact that you can move this between multiple bikes, it's fully weatherproof, it has a very bright screen that you can use with gloves, um, it has all the features you could ever want in a motorcycle navigator, it's a good investment. And with this mounting that I showed you and the wiring that I showed you, it appears to be entirely factory. Now, as always with these types of things, your application may vary slightly. If you have an older GS, I think there's a different a plug that you might get for that. Things could be a little bit different, things would look different. But basically, the idea is to not have to cut the factory wiring and to make the, the mounting and everything appear to be very clean and very OEM, and that's what we've achieved with this install. Um, the motor pumps mount is just what I chose to use. There are other mounts I've seen out there. Just remember, it's a 12 millimeter uh, crossbar that you need to clamp onto and then you can use the Garmin mount to clamp onto that. Um, but I'm very happy with this install. Let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns about this, and we'll address them. I'll make sure to address them in the comments below. Um, otherwise, uh, you know what to do. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, consider being a Patreon supporter, and stay tuned for more content on the GS and all the other motorcycles and reviews that I have coming out soon. Thanks for watching and please ride safe out there.